Tēnā koi. Kia ora. Greetings everyone. This is the September Earth Predictions series for September 2016 using the Psy cards. So let's see what's in store. If you guys have been following this for some time you'll know the drill and roughly what we're about to do. Friendship. The Inquirer. Liberation, the liar, and the moon. One more, the sage. Okay, that's quite an interesting bunch. We haven't had these ones, um, well, most of these ones we haven't seen for a little while. The liberation was there last month um, for August. But let's work through from the left-hand side and look at the friendship card. So the friendship card has never been a great one to give me much clues in terms of how I use these cards for the Earth Prediction series. It seems to collectively say there are a bunch of friends sitting at a table, um, perhaps discussing something, but if you look closely on the left hand side of the card, beside the man who's um, on the left, there is a another hand coming in holding another beer mug and he is yet unseen. So it tells us that there are unseen circumstances within allies and alliances that we haven't fully taken into consideration. Now we don't know if these are good or bad. So sometimes it can be, um, this card can be referencing or referring to political agendas and communications that are going on between groups of governing bodies such as inter country or inter um, their own political groups but something might not be quite as it seems there is someone who is going to put an interjection in most likely so what could be rolling along quite smoothly could suddenly have some sort of upturn or change of direction because of this input that is yet to be announced or fully understood Another thing that we see on the right hand side of the card is a parrot. So again this gives us inference of um, animals for the month of September. But I think we can safely say that we are nowadays have seemed to have sped up in time, which I've talked about before. And literally there are so many things happening globally every day and every week that there are always animals involved in mass die-off somewhere around the planet or there are storms that have effect on animals one way or another. So what I started off as a quite um, accurate prediction of series about four years ago when I started these Earth prediction series have become quite much more difficult to read because so much more is convoluted and going on in the world and that particular kind of downhill slide if you like has happened very very quickly but we'll keep on going with the Psy series as long as people enjoy um, listening to them and also putting their own interpretation and spin into the cards as well and you can do that quite simply by just leaving your comments below the video they're there for everyone to read and to enjoy your perspective as well so coming to the next card we see the Inquirer now we have to take that one as said and it is the inquirer is the person um, doing the reading which is myself so oftentimes this will mean something happening in and around where I live which as most of you know is New Zealand so somewhere in the South Pacific is what I would um, liken it to so the area of New Zealand or Australia or those islands that surround us such as Fiji, Vanuatu, Samoa, um, Nui, any of those type of areas as well as up into Papua New Guinea and possibly even up into the bottom of Asia. Now what it actually is is a bit of a puzzle because this is very much a maze and a puzzle so it's slightly um, again hidden agenda or unknown interpretation of what it could be. Sometimes it is geographical um, such as weather like meteorological as in weather or geographical as in land issues such as quakes or movement along those lines. Now interestingly the card next to it I often 
reference as being involved with Australia because of the brown snakes here and this is very much wild running water and there are people escaping it. Last month's one for August this card came out and I don't really recall any particular um, big issues in and around Australia for the month so perhaps the dynamics of this card are actually shifting to a different area on the planet. So we may have to leave the door open on this card and we do have an open door here. It is still about people fleeing in a great hurry and away from something and there can be water involved or turbulent weather involved one way or another. Now we come here to the fourth card and we see the liar. He hasn't come out in a very long time and I particularly don't like him as a card. He gives me very much the energy, again, of hidden agendas. So in this reading, there's almost four cards that are suggesting it. These four here are often about things going on behind doors that will have an effect on events and outcomes around your life somehow. So sometimes these can definitely be political agendas. And these... The liar can sometimes be a person who is hiding something or not telling the truth or maintaining um, a false representation or a facade. Now I often think of leaders such as behind the communist countries when this card comes out. So North Korea, um, Russia, China, places like that where we have very little real evidence of what is going on and the truth that actually gets out to society. The liar card could of course represent other issues in the western world as well. So there could be, you know, the American elections are heating up. I think September or it could be November, I'm unsure, but I think one of those months is a key or pivotal month for um, points and for uh, decisions and representations in the political arena. So there could be something going on there as well, which might be why the card has turned up. From the physical perspective of the liar card, I often see him as being, he's unbalanced and he's j jumping around on one foot and he looks as though he's teetering. So I often get, and there's something that's dropped on the floor down here, I often get the feeling of unstable uh, ground and teetering and moving around. So there is a possibility that this card indicates quakes. And given that he is a court jester, so he's a very old-fashioned looking element of society or life um, or archetype. So he could come from that very old part of the world up in and around Europe or some of the older areas of the globe. Could even be through that Middle East and up around through there. So I'm wondering if... if um, Italy's quakes have settled down or if there could be more yet to come in that region we will have to keep an eye on it. We come over here to the moon very very apt for the reading because the first of the eclipses for September is due on the 1st of September. So given that it is coming on the 1st of September and it's the beginning of the um, spring and autumn changeover for the planet and we get the equinox on the 21st September can often be a turbulent month for many reasons, both emotionally, uh, geographically, weather-wise as well. So we can see a lot of turbulence in that month. Now, the moon represents all the possibilities of things such as eclipses being quite profound or being very energetically tied to us, thereby creating um, shifts in energies on the planet and these can sometimes be good and they can sometimes be negative so it could suggest that there might be fraught tensions or energies we know that when the full moon is out um, you hear the word you know lunar or lunatic that's where it was derived from the lunar energies so maybe there could also be some profound moon or lunar energies in the month that will create tensions. It can also create things like mighty high spring tides or king tides which can have an effect on um, flooding especially around coastal areas that are prone to it and given that there's a lot of water in this card and the crab seems to be on the cusp of a tide I think tides and the sea are also represented, uh, represented in the energy of the card. 
Um, the moon can, when tied in with certain planets, create quakes as well. So I'm thinking here a tie-in between planetary alignments and the lunar eclipses and the solar eclipse and our planet and quake-related movement and weather-related issues as well. We come down to the Sage and here's one of the more benevolent cards of the deck. He is a lovely card. He often relates to a new technological information coming in and especially in the realm of space related technology and information. I think the spacecraft that is um, travelling towards Jupiter has sent back its first photos. I think it might be called Juno, the spacecraft. So there could be a lot of information coming in for us um, about our biggest planet in our solar system, that being Jupiter. We might pertain or understand a lot more than we have been um, currently aware of. There can also be other astronomical and astrological information that is new that comes to us, such as the finding of new planets. Although again in saying that, we're literally finding a new planet or a new galaxy almost every day or every week. So in real terms that's not new any longer, but it can still be very relevant or it can be even very significant to our understanding or our philosophies or how we move forward with information. Um, so yeah, he's very much about watching the skies and watching the stars and calculations. So sometimes as well he's calculating movement of bodies, trajectories across the sky, unusual um, things that we find as well. So new um, comets, sun diving comets, little bodies of asteroids that fly past us, any number of those type of things can be also brought up when the sage is around. And one other thing with the friendship card coming all the way back to here, those barrels in the background, although they're alcohol barrels, they remind me of keeks of dynamite, so I often think of explosions when that card comes out as well. So these can be war type explosions in the war fields around the earth, big bombs being dropped, or they can be unexpected explosions such as North Korea letting off missiles, or they can be things like um, in China that you, you often see lots of firework factories exploding because they haven't been stored properly or something along those lines. So there can be, um, it could be an explosive month, September, for various reasons. So there you are guys, that's an interesting little bunch of information there, lots of um, planetary and space related talk as well and political <laughs> agendas. So um, thanks for tuning in and leave your comments below and add your input and say and energy to the reading and the cards. So have a wonderful, safe, happy September ahead. Ka kite anoa. Namaste.